1942. I haven't done this for quite a few years, so I have a little uh, out of steam. Any work I do, I like to be thinking about the work, about everything about it. That's that's what I like about it, is being born with the work. We can't use this because it's a museum artifact, but I'll chop a notch and put it in so you can see how it fits. My first working experience was uh, when I was about four. I was involved in digging out a stump with my parents and grandparents, and it was in our yard, a, big, uh, a clump of dogwood right in the middle. Besides digging the trench around the, the roots, we pulled it out there with a block and tackle, and rolled it out of the hole, and uh, so I had an early introduction into uh, purposeful work, which I really enjoyed. And the activity plus the motive makes it beautiful. Step in, in before falling the tree is to, is to shave the bark off all the way around to get rid of that gritty bark and down to the at least to the, down to the cambium layer. The double bitted axe, one edge is just moderately sharp, and that's for cutting bark and near the roots. The other edge is razor sharp, and you don't want to ever touch anything but clean wood with that sharp edge. This is kerosene to sprinkle on the saw if it gets pitchy. The next step is to take a crosscut, double-headed crosscut saw and make the, the undercut straight in and not quite halfway through. This is a, uh, a lance tooth pattern, these four cutters and a raker, a gullet, four cutters and a gullet and a raker. The cutters, as they're going across the grain, score, make two parallel score cuts. Two are set one way and two are set the other way. And those cuts then allow the raker, as it comes along, to peel out a shaving of wood that's been severed by the side cutters. The shaving curls into the gullet, and as the saw goes through the log, it drops to the ground. And then the next series does the same thing. So each raker is peeling out a shaving, and it cuts on both the push and the pull. Pretty amazing, a tool, how it, how efficiently it works. The next step is chopping away, popping out the chips at about a 45 degree bevel to the back of the undercut. That bevel is, is, the, is the hinge. The, wherever that angle of that bevel is, that directs the direction of the fall of the tree. And the bevel of the undercut, the purpose of that is just to give it room to fall without any obstruction on the hinge. Using the axe as a T-square, putting it into the back of the undercut will tell you where the tree will fall. Then the next step will be the back cut with the, with the crosscut saw. If I could inspire people to be content with purposeful work, it would slow down the pace of our culture.
people wouldn't be racing around for entertainment, going someplace to do something. They'd be happy right at home doing the essential basic chores. I even enjoy mending socks or any, anything that is purposeful makes me feel content. given a script by our culture of how to live and all we got to do is change the script <laughs> so that's what I'm about <laughs>